Well, frog lovers, as we join our friends, one of two things is happening. Uh, yeah, either the truck is on fire... Or Uncle Waldo is inside inventing again. Uh, let's hope the truck's on fire, Hoppity. Waldo's inventions can lead to serious trouble. Uh-oh. Uh, he's inventing all right. Eureka! I've got it! I've got it! What have you got this time, Uncle Waldo? My greatest invention. It's wonderful, superb, brilliant. It will make us a fortune. Uh, where is it? Right here. I call it Waldo's Wonder Water. Boy, what does it do? I haven't the slightest idea. Well, then how do you know you've invented something if you don't know what it does? Pity sakes, everything does something, Hoppity. We'll just have to test it to find out what. Uh, see if it's a good spot remover, Waldo. Good idea. Say, that worked pretty good. Hey, what do you mean? It burned a hole in my coat. It removed the spot, didn't it? There must be something. I wonder if it will cure a headache. Hey, I can't help you there, Waldo. Why not? I don't have a headache. Take off your hat and shut your eyes. Is okay? Hey, you know, I suddenly developed a splitting headache. Good boy. Here, take a swig of Waldo's Wonder Water. <laughs> Whoa! Fillmore, where did you ever get a punch like that? Hey, I don't know. See, all of a sudden, I had the feeling to do this. Wee wee wow, what a suck! Hey, say, I think Waldo's Wonder Water worked. See, my headache is gone. Now forget about my Wonder Water. With that Sunday punch of yours, we can get rich overnight. Getting into the truck, our three friends drove to the other side of town where Waldo pulled up in front of Jim's gym, and they hurried inside. David Waldo, I don't know nothing about being a surprise fighter. Yeah, Fillmore might get hurt. You let me worry about that. Come on, champ. Uh, that's the mug, my new sparring partner. Uh, no. Yes, you are. Don't mind him, he's just nervous. Uh, yellow is the word. Remember, you just got five bucks around, so let's get it and mix it up, huh? Oh, boy, five bucks around. What an easy way to make money. Easy for us, but I'm not sure how easy it'll be for Fillmore. Slap shooter with his Sunday punch. He's got nothing to worry about. The bell rang for the first round, and Fillmore danced to the center of the ring. Then drawing back his fist... Uh, there goes nothing. Fillmore was right. It was nothing. And when the other guy hit back... Fillmore, what happened to the Sunday punch? Uh, this is Tuesday. Never mind. Just get in there and get him this time. Try as he might, Fillmore could not find his Sunday punch. Then finally, after being knocked down 36 times... Uh, I quit. What for? Uh, I'm not happy in my work. I can't understand it. How come he could punch so hard this morning and not now? Hey, I just happened to think of something. Fillmore got that punch right after he drank some of your wonder water, Uncle Waldo. You don't suppose maybe... Sweet Sally socks. Maybe that's it. At that precise moment, the door to the gym burst open and in walked the heavyweight champion of the world, Dirty Pool, and his manager. Everybody stand back. The champ is coming through. In they came, and just happened to pass Fillmore as he was taking a drink of Waldo's Wonder Water, and... <coughs> well, I got that feeling again. Golly, it is the Wonder Water that makes him punch like that. Boy, look what he did. Dirty Pool is out caught in a codfish. He knocked out the gym. With one punch yet. Fillmore? Our Fillmore knocked out the world's champion? Yes, Fillmore had knocked out Dirty Pool, the world's champion, with one punch. Will the champ be angry when he finds out about it? Does this mean serious trouble for our friends? Find out next time in The Champ and the Chump, or that little old haymaker, him. As you remember last time, our friends had figured out that it was Waldo's Wonder Water that gave Fillmore his terrific Sunday punch. Waldo's Wonder Water, I love you. We better try it again just to make sure. Hey, why do I always have to be the piggy bank? That's guinea pig. You never mind, just drink it. At that moment, Dirty Pool, heavyweight champion of the world, came into the gym. And as he strolled past Fillmore... Whoa! I got that feeling again.
baby. Wake up. Growl for me. Say something. Uh, uh... Daddy Paul is out cold. He knocked out the world's champ. With one punch. That's the champ. And Fillmore, our Fillmore, knocked him cold? Yeah, I can't do that. It's illegal. It's worse than that. We better scram before he wakes up. But the matter was not to be dropped there, for soon the whole world was talking about the knockout. Here's a special item. Early this afternoon, Dirty Pool, the world's champ, was knocked out with a single punch by an unknown bear? One punch bear still missing. Melba's mustache, it's even in all the newspapers. Okay, now I'll have to go through life disguised as a Smith brother. Gee, this is the worst mess we've ever been in. Why, Fillmore? Why did you have to pick out Dirty Pool to knock out? He's the toughest guy in the world. Hey, don't blame me. Hey, it was that stupid Wonder Water uh, of yours that made me do it. I'll leave my Wonder Water out of this. The main thing is... Wait a minute! My Wonder Water, that's it! That's what, Uncle Waldo? Stand back, boys. I'm getting an idea. I've got it. Hey, you got a thoughty thought, do you? You bet your blue booties I do. Hey, we're going to leave the country. No, we are going to challenge Dirty Pool to a fight. Hey, goodbye. No, wait. We don't have anything to worry about. Hey, maybe we don't, but I do. Say bye. With my wonder water, we can't lose. You'll knock him out and we will win a fortune. How about it? Uh, well, hey, let me try the wonder water once more, just to make sure. <laughs> Whoa! Golly, Fillmore Waldo's right. With a punch like that, you just can't lose. Yeah, I got a good punch, all righty. Uh, but what if Dirty Pool hits first? You just let me worry about that. You're all hot, Waldo. The deal was made with Dirty Pool's manager and... Extra, extra, read all about the big fight. How about it, champ? Do you think Fearless Fillmore can knock you out with one punch again? No, that was a lucky punch. I'm more than a bum. Just let me out. Hmm. I wonder if it was a lucky punch. Meanwhile, at Fillmore's training camp, Fillmore was hard at work training for the big fight. One, two, three. One, two, duh. Fillmore, what are you saying one, two, duh for? Yeah, I can't remember what comes after two. It's three. Oh, thanks, Hoppity. One, two, duh. Three. One, two, duh. Three. That's enough of that, Fearless. Now let's skip the row. Yeah, good idea. Yeah, let's skip it. Try punching the bag, Fillmore. Okay. Yeah, stand back, you guys. Oh! What's the matter? I think my hand. Relax, stupid. The name is Fearless. A swallow of my wonder water will fix you up. Here. Unknown to our heroes, at that very moment, Dirty Pool and his manager were spying on them from behind some bushes. And when Fillmore drank the wonder water... Whoa! Hey, now I'll give it a try. Did you say that? I'm afraid so, Bobby. And look what he's doing now. he will got a punch like a ten-ton truck. He'll ruin me. You're absolutely right, Tweety. You wouldn't stand a chance against him. But what are we gonna do? Our only chance is to see that he doesn't make it to the fight. Great idea, but how? Uh, with this, Booby. He can't fight if he's full of holes, right? <laughs> Will Phyllis Fillmore's fighting career be stopped dead in its tracks? Be sure to watch next time for The Holy Mackerel or Half Shot in the Dark. In our last episode, Dirty Pool and his manager had sneaked into Fillmore's training camp to see what they could find out about his Sunday punch. What they saw shook them to the bottom of their socks. He busted the anvil with his bare fist. Well, you cannot fight him, Dirty Baby. He will murder you dead. What are we going to do? We're going to fix it so we can't fight. How? With this. Fillmore was a sitting duck. What happened to your punching bag, Fillmore? It's full of holes. It uh, moths. Moths? They look more like bullet holes to me. Hey, that's silly. Who would go around shooting punching bags? They're not even good to eat. Dirty Pool and his manager had failed on their first attempt to put dear Fillmore out of commission. They weren't through yet. Hold it right there, Dirty Baby. I'll be right back. Excuse me, Fearless. I wonder if you'd mind moving a bit to your left. Uh, like this? Just a little bit more. 
That is perfect, perfect. Hold it right there. Okay, dirty baby. Let her fall. Next, the two scoundrels planned the most fiendish scheme of all. What is the fiendish scheme we're planning, Roy? We are digging a Burmese tiger trap. So? So when Fela Fillmore runs down this path to do his road wake, pow, we got him. Covering the trap with leaves and branches, they then ran off to hide and wait. Early the next morning, the unsuspecting Fillmore came trotting down the path right on schedule. Hey, up to people, up to people. <laughs> we should hear him crash into the trap any second now. We got him, we got him, come on. What did I tell you, dirty baby? Burmese tiger trap never fail. Now we can... But at that moment, they saw a rather unexpected sight. Hey, up to people. A top of the morning to you guys. It's a lovely day, isn't it? Up to people. Say, that was him. Then what have we got in the trap? What indeed? For being a Burmese tiger trap, it was only natural that they had a Burmese tiger inside. The Refusing to give up, another plan was quickly put into play by the dirty guys. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! The mm -hmm. Christmas? I thought it was still summertime. It just goes to show you, Bobby, how the time flies. <laughs> it's a cold winter, isn't it? Uh, are you sure it's winter? Of course I'm sure. Why else would I be wearing a fur coat and earmuffs? Uh, that's true. Uh, but I don't see any snow. You certainly will. Now, dirty baby, now! A little snow coming up! See? Hey, why, it is snowing! My, but I'm getting sleepy! The plan was working. Making Fillmore think it was winter, and him being a bear, he figured it was time to hibernate. In you go, sleepy boy! And once the villain had Fillmore inside the tree, he quickly cemented up the hole. <laughs> he will never get out in time for the fight. Meanwhile... Fillmore! Where are you? Hopper, have you seen Fillmore? No! Where could he be? Come on, we've got to find him. <laughs> you, Fillmore! Listen, Uncle Waldo. There's snoring coming from inside of this tree. I'd know that snore anywhere. That's Fillmore! Fillmore! What are you doing in there? Uh, go on away! I'm hibernating! You can't hibernate. Now the big fight is tonight. Uh-oh, he's asleep again. He can't do this to us. I wonder how Fillmore got in there. Look, the hole in the tree is all cemented up. Stand back, Hoppity. I'll bust him out of there. It's no use. I can't even chip the cement. Poor Fillmore. We'll never get him out. Dirty baby, sweetie love, we've done it. We got that stupid bear out of our hair once and for all. <laughs> Could it be that our beloved Fillmore is sealed inside of that tree forever? Find out next time in... There's a bear in there. Or... Tree's a crowd. Okay, and you can see it later in the show. So stay tuned. Mm hmm? Every time I hit my TV set, I get a commercial. Nonsense. Yeah? Watch. In our last episode, Dirty Pool and his manager finally managed to get Fearless Fillmore by tricking him into hibernating, then sealing him inside a tree with cement. Gosh, how are we going to get him out, Uncle Waldo? Well, there's only one way. What's that? With my wonder water. Fillmore, are you awake? Yeah, of course I'm awake. Hey, who can sleep with all that racket going on out there? Open your mouth. <laughs> he got it. Stand back, Hoppin'. Hey, Hello there. He's out. My wonder water gives Fillmore that old Sunday punch every time. Uh, yeah. Hey, without that wonder water, I couldn't punch my way out of a paper bug. That's paper bag. And come on, we've got to get ready for the fight. So, it is this wonder water that gives him his Sunday punch. Hmm. You got nothing to worry about, dirty baby. No wonder water, no Sunday punch. <laughs> I'll murder him. Then that night, when it was time for the fight. In this corner, 
the heavyweight champion of the world, Dirty Fool. And in this corner, the unknown bear, One Punch, Fearless Hema. This is it, fellas. It was then that they made the shocking discovery. Great gobs of goose grease. The wonder water's gone. Every bottle is empty. And there goes the bell. Then what am I going to do? Just try to stay alive until we get back, Fillmore. We'll go to the truck and make some more. Hoppity and Waldo ran for the truck, and our poor Phyllis Fillmore found himself in the center of the ring facing Dirty Pool. Okay, chump, I'll give you the first punch. <laughs> hey, oh, 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 oh. Uh-oh, something seemed to have happened to Fillmore's Sunday punch. The champ didn't even feel it. Now it's my turn. Meanwhile, I'm in the truck. Hurry, Waldo, hurry! I am hurrying, but I've come up against a slight teeny-weeny problem. Like what? I can't exactly remember how I made the stuff. But you gotta remember! And the champ is throwing a right, a left, a right, a left, a right. And he throws the bell ending round two. Silver, how do you feel? Hey, lumpy. Well, hang on, Silver. Waldo's working as fast as he can. Here I go again. Keep your chin up, Silver. I can. Every time I put my chin up, he smacks it. See what I mean? And so it went. While Waldo was mixing it up in the truck, Fillmore was mixing it up in the ring. And neither of them was doing very well. Then finally, at the end of the 13th round... do do I think I've got it! Are you sure? Stand back and I'll find out. <laughs> Wow, it's Wonder Water, all right. Hooray, I'll give it to Fillmore. Taking the precious Wonder Water, Hoppity hopped into the arena and... Fillmore, I got it. I got the Wonder Water. Did you hear that, Dirty Baby? That little green creep has got more Wonder Water for the bear. Oh, yeah? Well, I'll take care of that. Oh, no, you don't, Squid. Ah, well! Hey, 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 you put that frog down. Be glad to. Hey, that's it. The wonder water and no wonder water. The nobody's gonna hit the, my little pal Hoppity and get away with it. What are you gonna do about it? The, I'm gonna do this about it. The charge! Oh, Fillmore, you all about the Wonder Water. And just think, you did it for me. Uh, who melts? Say, that reminds me. There's something very important I've been meaning to tell you two. You see, I... C you can't tell us now, Uncle Waldo. It's too late. What do you mean, too late? Well, look up there. It's the end already. Oh, drat. But you can find out what Waldo was going to say by being sure to watch for the next adventures of... Hoppity Hooper! Well, folks, it's... Hoppity, haven't you forgotten something? Oh, oh yeah, wait a minute. Uh... And now, here are some scenes from our next show. Hey, what's the matter with your grant? Sure enough, something strange was happening to Waldo. No, no, that just means you're getting an idea. Dad, uh, what is it, Waldo? I can see it now! A vision of loveliness. What is it? What is it? It's a bottle. What's in the bottle? Hmm. Looks like maybe it's time for us to go. <laughs> now I'm sure it is. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.